So this is uh, one of those moments of small victory that you kind of just like to take a couple extra moments and uh, relish in the fact that you've done something right and didn't burn anything down while trying to you know, complete whatever it is you're completing. In this case, I finally finished one of the one of the motor controllers, one of the H bridge circuits, just prototyped it, sitting right up top here. Um, and those are connected, so that's one motor controller out of, you know, three, four, five that will be completed. And right now, this guy is connected to um, the big actuators, these two guys, that lift the legs up and down. Um, none of the other actuators are hooked up, and as you can see, you know, I'm missing a couple actuators in here. Haven't hooked those up yet. Got the power supply, battery, motor controller, um, and then this funny swinging balancing mechanism that's not doing anything right now. This little swinging rig in place. Um, not doing anything right now, but uh, nonetheless, it's in place, so it's going to float around a little bit. So what we accomplished is set up the motor controller, programmed it with just some real basic code to make these guys bounce up and down. So it's going to kind of do a squatting, kind of do his little squat thrust workout. So hook it up and uh, get a glance at what it does here. Take the juice and plug it in. Yeah wants to run away. So there she goes. See what she does. Do a couple up and downs. I think it's set up to extend for two or three seconds and then one second in the down motion since you have uh, pressure from from the top natural gravity and it takes it a little little less time to to get down than it does up so there she is doing some squat thrusts like I said you know nothing real special but just want to take the extra moment and just enjoy watching the robot jump up and down a little bit um, so what's next is tying the potentiometers each of these actuators have a potentiometer in them so I can read the um, the distance, you know, how far it's open, so I can do kind of dead positioning of each of the actuators. And the motor controller's got, uh, I'm just going to shut this guy off real quick. The motor controller's got inputs for each of the pots, and you actually can see the pot leads here. So I'll hook up those so I'll be able to get actual position information instead of just, hey, jump up and down, bounce up and down, do squat thrust. So I get that all set up, and um, yeah, get it all working and then expand to motor controller or actuator three and four and then maybe start to get some some finer walking movements out of this machine instead of just squat thrusts. That's what we got for now.